What are y'all doing? I missed y'all yesterday. Uh, we had meetings, Rose and Ben Beauty fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And then listen, I went and had a facial. I actually have extractions on right now, but I just filmed a video with this. So you'll see that. I'll post it very soon. This is the new NYX Color Correcting Fix Stick. Um, this one's the green one. Again, you'll see that video. But I want to talk a little bit about the facial I had. It was so good. So that happened and it was just, it was so much fun. I like, I, I've even had, I've had facials before and I don't normally tell you all about them and I, I normally pay for them. I don't like that. I always, I pay for my hair to get done. I, I don't, I don't go to places to get things for free. That is never my thing because um, it's a little bit different here on my page. As you can see, it's not really about lifestyle. It's just about makeup. Um, but that was a lovely treat, and I do want to thank you again, Miss Deborah. You really and truly made my day. But next time, I'm paying, but I will take more fudge. <laughs> and one more thing before we get started, Rosenbend Beauty, perhaps you've heard of it. Uh, we're doing buy one item, any item. It could be the, the big fluffy bunny C42 foundation brush. Get your second item 25% off. So if you're needing some more gift ideas, a stocking stuffer. I mean, I feel like a little A27 would just be the perfect little stocking stuffer. So if you're needing a stocking stuffer, a present, now's the time. So we're gonna start with clean canvas because we're gonna do mattes from our socket to our brow bone. I'm gonna use the concealer brush from the Essential Travel Set. And then I'm gonna use a clear, more wet tacky base. I actually like this one. I, ha I did a trick with this one on TikTok, which I'll post it here as well. But that type of shimmer is just incredible. I'm sorry, that type of primer is really, really nice with a shimmer. One like this can sometimes um, overwhelm and overtake the shimmer, but one like this, very, 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 very thin, this is going to enhance. And this, this type of shadow is going to be the star of the show. Something like this, it's going to work nicely with a shimmer. I'm going to put it here on my hand just to kind of show you, make sure it's nice and even, but it can sometimes just kind of overtake it. So this is kind of the look that we're going for, the darker lip here. Um, this is from 2019, so this is still when I lived at my old house. Um, but yeah, this is the vibe that I wanted to go for today. So I think we're going to go really cranberry. And then you're kind of seeing, I feel like my blend has gotten better since then too. Um, but what we're going to see here is I'm going to do a really dark wing in here and it's going to transition. So this looks really, really technical, but it's not, not as hard as it looks. So we're starting with a very warm red brown. I'm gonna grab this shade and this will help it not look as costume. Uh, sometimes red shadows, I love it. I don't ever want y'all to think that I'm saying it's not gonna look costumey and that's not what I like. I love it. Um, so it's not an insult. It's just not where we're going today. I don't want this to look quite as Halloween. If you do skip this part and it's gonna be stunning, but it's just not the journey I'm on today. So we're just gonna build this up first. We're still gonna be using reds. Look, I've got this ready, this right here. We're gonna go into this and this, but this is just gonna take it a little bit more cranberry holiday. So why I'm so adamant, this is important. I wanna, I wanna touch on this. Why I'm so adamant about saying, I want, I want you to do what you want. I don't ever want to put you down. I don't, I don't want you to think me calling something Halloween or costumey means that I don't like it. I'm very careful with that. It's just a really easy way to describe it. Something that would really dishearten me when I first started makeup. And even now I see some creators, they will say, um, this is very dated or don't do your makeup like this. And that's not how I want things over here on our page. I want you to do whatever makes your makeup heart sing. I only have one kind of rule. You don't even have to follow it, but let's just let's just try to make sure that our foundation just matches our neck. That's it. The rest of it, just have fun. And you don't even have to match if you don't want to. But that's the only thing I try to be I was saying that's the only thing I try to be a little bit more um, adamant and vocal about. Everything else, wear whatever you want, do whatever you want, stay in whatever era you would like to stay in. Just have fun. Because 
that's what makeup is. There's no right or wrong. There's nothing dated. It's It'll come back in 10 minutes anyways. And that's part of the reason that I love makeup. And another reason I love it is because formulas are always advancing. There's so much science that goes into makeup. So we can even change the way we do it. There was one time that I would have never used a liquid eyeshadow as a base, and now I do. And the reason why is because there's been advancements in those formulas. So never say never in makeup. Now I have the same exact shade on the tip of the brush. It's gonna be so much easier to have control, but start to transition this. I want this to be extra transition today, so I might work a little bit harder and I might switch to an E27. In fact, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wipe this off. I always wipe my brush off and set it aside. That way, when I go to pick it back up, I won't mess anything up. So even though I'm not using this currently, give it a nice wipe on Sheila there and then switch to our E27. And then I'm just gonna take the tiniest amount and just really transition here. Still using that one shade. Remember, we're gonna be able to create another transition just out of the one shade. But I am gonna be just a little bit more intricate today with my blending. Just take your time. We're gonna to switch to another shade. But let's make sure this is pretty smooth. You ready? We're going into this more burgundy shade first. When we're working with reds, we're working with burgundies, we're gonna use a small brush as things, they just wanna get out of control. Also, we're not gonna take it up here, we're gonna take it into that first shadow that we laid down. And you can see, it's just gonna start to enhance it and bring it just a little bit more red. It already had a lot of red in it, but we wanted more. I'm picking up more of that shade and think of reds the same way we think of black. Small brush, small amounts. Tapping motions and patience. Write that down. Nice. Keep it inside the brown shadow. Now let's switch back to this. Remember how we already wiped it off? We know we're good to go. Not gonna have any mishaps. We're gonna grab that, the smallest amount. One little tap into that red. I'm gonna tilt my head back and just start to lightly transition this to a brighter red, but only on the outer part of the eye. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more, tiny, 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 tiny amount, and just transition it a little bit more until I get a really nice smooth transition using the side of the brush. There you go. Also, it's important for me to tell you about the pigment. Red pigments, purple pigments, they can be harder to work with, it's just, it's, it's kind of a known thing. I mean, you don't have to know it, now you do. I don't want you to feel like you're silly for not knowing it. We're all learning every day, still learning myself. But in case you're wondering, you start doing this type of look, you're struggling, they do not like to be overworked. And by overworked, I mean over blended. And that's why you're seeing such delicate pressing motions. You're not seeing swiping. You're seeing every time I tap, it's thought out. I'm not just going in here and going to town. Red wants to betray you. There are certain shades that want to betray you. Purple, pink, red, black. I'll think of more. Now we're gonna switch back over to the tiny brush, one little tap into the bright red. Relax that eye and we're just gonna transition a little bit over this way. What you just saw me do was make sure I was completely relaxing my eyes. I want to do this, I want to do all kinds of stuff, but I want to keep them nice and relaxed. And then I'm going to go back through. I'm going to set down my E28, remember, wipe it off. Because sometimes we panic and we reach for a brush and it could have black eyeshadow on it. So I've just trained myself to do that because I've had one too many mess ups. So each time you go to set your brush down, give it a wipe, always. I wiped off my brush and I don't really have any product on here at the moment. And I'm just going to tap and make sure that we don't have any gaps. Make sure we're nice and transitioned. And then we're gonna move over to our lid color. Now we're gonna take this shade, small amount, very, very small. We're gonna start over here towards the front of the eye and this is going to not only set the rest of that base, but it's gonna be our final from our socket to our brow bone blurring shade. It's just gonna melt everything together without dulling it. 
I have micellar water on my C30. And we're just gonna do a half carb. I think that's what I did in that last look. Yeah, because I put the black over here, so let's not even worry about over there. We're just gonna carve to where the black will eventually be, and that's where we're gonna, we are going to stop. Let's make sure we're nice and cleaned up in there. Now, we're gonna grab this. And this type of base, I know you're thinking base, what? This type of primer, it just lets that sparkle and the glow and the shimmer, like this type of shadow, just absolutely do what it's supposed to do. It doesn't muddy it in any way. It just, for lack of a better phrase, it just lets it shine. Okay, add this palette to your cart. This is stunning. Oh, sorry, I'm picking up this shade on my C30. Look at this pigment. Look at the audacity. This is so, I don't even have to go back in, I'm setting it down. I wanna use three shades on my lid, so that's why I'm not bringing it all the way over. And then I could even carve out the lid a little bit more for some more precision. And if you're wondering why I'm leaving this space a little bare, we're gonna use this on our inner corner later, so just leave a little room for that. Y'all better go get this right now. I just checked, I went and got that link. This is on sale for $14 because most of us already have a ton of these mats. Oh my goodness. And then I will say, get this brush too, because it's basically your fing fingertip, but better. So now let's scoot on over into this shade. That one's gonna come next. And we'll keep with our precision and let it melt in there a little bit. Oh gosh, this is so pretty. $14. I already know that by the time Y'all see this later. I feel so bad because I, I just know it's going to sell out. And I'm not one to cause hype. I don't start the hype, but I do feel very passionate about some products. And I just think it's small. I think it's all shimmers. And I think it's something that y'all will actually use. And it's worth adding to your collection. An all matte brown palette, probably not worth adding to your collection. But not a lot of us have these colors. So I did wipe my brush off in between these colors. We're going into this color next. And we're just gonna fill in, oh gosh, the big mat, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty with that. And we'll just go ahead and bring that all the way up. But remember, we're still gonna do that black, thick wing situation over here with the shadow. So we're gonna do gel liner. I'm using this one, but I scooped it out and closed it. And look at, I don't have anything mixed in. Look at how nice this is staying. And that's the reason why. Um, I close that there scoop it out close it don't even look at it it wants to dry out it just wants to betray you e26 and I'm just going to start to map out a shape and we're going to smudge this a little bit with black eyeshadow so don't be scared okay don't be frightened don't I don't just don't you got this I promise just these light pulling motions and then I'm going to relax and I'm going to connect. See how it's coming out of the socket? Okay, don't be scared. You got this. Especially with a bent liner brush like this. And then I'm even going to take it all the way across here. And don't worry about just getting it perfect because I was saying, don't worry about it looking perfect because we're going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow and we're going to smudge it. It's okay. Look, look at that. It can, it can be like that. Look at that. See that right there? That's fine. Now grab an E27, go into black shadow, and we're just going to start to first stamp here. Start to stamp it over into, oof, look at the difference that made already. Pointy side. I want that angled side in here. Nice. Soften these edges. And then just take lightly across all of the gel liner. Back into the micellar water with our C30. Start to clean up our wing. Let's do a black water line. This is my favorite. I hope that these didn't sell out. Uh, the brand Melt, they actually sent me some. And then I also bought some as well. So let's take it. We'll just look to the side. And remember to 
go over your waterline as few times as possible. And the reason why is because when, once we get in here and we just keep going back, 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 back and forth, it's the moisture of your eye is getting on the pencil and then that's gonna change the formula. It's not gonna wear the same. So it's really about, these you really don't even have to warm up on the back of your hand, so there's no waste. That's why these are so fantastic. Your body heat alone, just kind of warm it up here. And I wanna do this one on TikTok, but I would show you. Just warm it up, one, two, three, boom, boom, boom. And that should be enough. And then you're gonna find that this is going to last. It's not gonna migrate. You're not gonna have wear time issues, and it's just gonna be super dark and last all day. So I had a lot of fallout, completely normal with this type of application. That's not, I, I, it's, fallout is never a bad thing, but I didn't actually put on my eye cream for that reason. So whenever I know I'm gonna do, I, look at this, secretly hiding in there. Whenever I know I'm gonna do a wild makeup look and I know I'm gonna have fallout, I will not put on eye cream till after. And I'm nothing without my skincare brushes. I have these long nails and I will jab myself so we're just gonna use this skincare brush here from Anissa Beauty. And then we're gonna let that sink in. And in the meantime, I already have my lashes queued up, so we'll get those on. Libre Lashes in style number four. I think these are my favorite from Libre Lashes. Nice, oh, that lid is just so pretty. And so many of y'all have been asking about my earrings. These are my new favorite earrings. They're from Jenny Bird. I'm going to tag, I got them from Revolve. Um, but you can just go check them out there. I think they're a newer release. So I'll tag uh, Jenny Bird, but y'all were asking and there you go. I, I love them. They, I think they come in silver too. And I kind of want to get them in silver. They're my new favorites. So we're going to do our Cover FX Foundation shade M3. I am just so happy this foundation is back. This was just a really awesome surprise this year. And a lot of you actually purchased it because y'all trust me and your trust means the world to me, but y'all are enjoying it and that makes me so happy. Let's get this on. And then let me find my C42 and then I'm gonna hop off and do concealer only because I'm testing out something. But y'all will see very soon. That's so satisfying. Remember, buy one brush or anything on the site, Sheila, anything. Get the other one 25% off. You could have this little bunny tail pressing your foundation into your face. All right, I will be right back because remember, I'm testing out some new things. Um, I'm gonna get my concealer and my bronzer on and I'll finish blush. This is important. So remember this, this had that gel liner on it. I have no powder on my face. And I have a lot of bronzer. I'm looking a little wild. Just wait. But this is important because we're going to use the moisture of our concealer that's on right now. And we're just going to connect this. And we're going to start to smudge our lash line. We're using that wet concealer to our advantage. Now this is another really good tip. Remember how we didn't have our under eye set? Let's grab that. I'm going to use my Givenchy today. And we're gonna go ahead, we're setting the under eye, but we're also setting that liner. We're still gonna smudge it with these colors, but now that is locked into place. So try doing your liner with your concealer and then set. It makes such a difference. Now we're doing just a touch of the burgundy here. Let's press that in right on top of the black to transition it. So I'm just gonna blur the rest of my face. I love this Wet n Wild powder. Been using it. Ooh, can't show you all that. Can't show you that. Can't show you that. <laughs> There's a lot going on over here. <laughs> so this is the Wet n Wild. This is their clarifying one. So I won't put this around my eyes, but I'll put it on the perimeter and the center, just not around the under eye. Anything clarifying with tea tree, something like that, and that's what's in here. It's not, it's not so great around the eye. Let's just avoid that area, just in case. But I know this is super affordable. It's wet and wild. I will go find you a link. I'm gonna use this brush. This is from our Essential Travel Set. And I'm just gonna set here, make sure it's all nice and locked in. And it's really blurring and it's really nice. I've just really been enjoying it. Let's put it through the center. And I want to keep with this cranberry theme, so we're going to use this RMS Beauty Blush. I don't know how much to put on here. I don't want to get too wild. 
That's perfect. It's always better to build than it is to put on too much. Ooh, I'm gonna build it up a little bit more than that, but I'm gonna go slow. When you got darker colors like this, we just, we just take our time. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of this. Let me tell you why. This is a very blue pink, and this is gonna make sure that this stays nice and cool because this is actually pretty cool, the transition. So we're gonna mix these two, and that's gonna make sure that we have enough blue in there to tie that in. So I just got this, KBD just sent this. It's not a glitter lip or anything, but it's a beautiful metallic, and I feel that it's gonna be really pretty. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do a little bit more cranberry. Let's put it on. That's why, it's one of the reasons I started to do my lip liner after, is because I would just kinda of do that, and then I step back and see what does this need? And I feel it needs a little bit of maybe MAC Night Moth. And then we're gonna do this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Free Burgundy. And then we're headed to Cranberry Town. All right, we're done. And also, I just want y'all to know I've just absolutely been loving my new haircut. Apparently it's called a butterfly haircut. I had no idea, but it's a thing and I like it. It's actually really easy to style for me, but I do have um, a lot of texture to my hair, so it kind of just stays really nice and voluminous. I don't even know what day I'm on of dirty hair, but it still looks very there. <laughs> now that is a proper blend. That is the blend we were looking for. And you know what somebody pointed out? I did that look before we had the brushes. Let me show you. And that is today's tutorial. This lip is so pretty and it is transfer proof. See, it's the one that dries down and doesn't move. So pretty, I love it. Okay, y'all go get this palette before it sells out. Um, I'm gonna post, oh, I'm actually gonna post um, a green shadow. I think we did it this week, but I was gonna post it tonight anyways on my page. So I'll, I'll see you tonight in the comments. And then if nobody has told you today, I love you so much. All right. See you in a little while.